this is my Apple Silicon Mac, the MacBook Air M1, running the stunning Hyperland Window Manager on top of Fedora Asahi Remix. If you're bored of macOS and want to try something fresh, turning your Mac into a truly aesthetic Linux desktop, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you through the process of installing Hyperland on Apple Silicon Macs. We will be setting up DMS aka Dank Material Shell, offering a next level Valent desktop experience. The Dank is built on Quickshell and Go, optimized for Valent compositors like Neri, Hyperland, and many others. To install Hyperland on your Mac, make sure you have a fresh copy of Fedora Asahi Remix installed on your computer. I recommend installing it with a Plasma desktop. Now check out the video link in the description for a complete step-by-step -step on installing Asahi Remix on Apple Silicon. Now this setup also works on Intel-based Macs. Just install Fedora and follow the same instructions. The first thing you should do after installing Fedora is to configure the DNF package manager. You can modify the DNF configuration file to speed up package downloads by adding these flags. Once done, press Ctrl plus O and press Return. Then press Ctrl plus X to save the changes. Now inside terminal, update your system by running this command and reboot the system. Then install Timeshift, a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your system. This backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing DMS. Ensure you backup the entire root system and home directories, then click on Create. To take a snapshot. Additionally, backup any important files to an external media for extra safety. It's recommended to install a few essential dependencies using DNF. Now run this command to install Git and other required packages. Now it's time to install a pre configured Valent desktop using an installer script created by Maverick Developer. Let's start by navigating to the official website to learn more about this setup. Now these are the latest DMS dot files, which brings a beautiful material inspired theme for Valent compositors like Neri and Hyperlint. I recommend reading the instructions carefully and going through the entire page. Then look for the quick start section. Go ahead and copy this command, paste it into your terminal, and press return to start setting up the dms.fos. You will see a list of items that are going to be installed. Just go ahead and press return to continue. Now choose your window manager. Now use the arrow keys to navigate and return to select. Now as of now, you can choose between Neri or Hyperland. In my case, I'm going to install Hyperland. Then choose your terminal emulator from the available options. In my case, I'm going with Ghosty, which is highly customizable. Next, you will see a summary of all dependencies required for DMS. Now simply select DMS and press return. Then enter your sudo password when prompted. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. Once the setup is complete, it's recommended to restart your computer to apply the changes.
Now from the STDM Login Manager, select Hyperland Session from the bottom left. This Session Manager makes it very easy to switch between Plasma and Hyperland. After that, enter your password to login. Upon successful login, you will be greeted with the Hyperland welcome screen. This is the most beautiful quick shell running on Hyperland you will ever experience. If you are trying this on a MacBook, you may notice the UI is scaled to 100%. You can fix this by adding a simple statement to the default Hyperland configuration file. The last argument controls the scaling of your desktop. If you set to Auto, it will scale automatically. If you set to 1, it will downscale the UI and fit properly. Once you have made the changes, press Ctrl plus O and press Return to save them. It's time to fix the wallpaper issue. Open Terminal and create a directory named Pictures inside your home folder. Next, let's clone a collection of high-quality wallpapers into this directory by running this command. Once it's done, open Wallpapers panel by pressing Super plus Y and set the path to the newly created folder. Now you will see all the wallpapers displayed, but choose the one you want to apply. Now let's take a quick look at the user interface. The tapping the top center of the screen opens the control center with five sections. Dashboard, Media, Wallpapers, Weather, and Settings. The dashboard shows system information and media controls. For Media, Manages, Audio Playback. Wallpapers lets you change backgrounds. Feather shows live information. And settings allow theme switching and interface customization. Now tapping the top right corner opens a quick settings panel for brightness, sound, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and power options. It's customizable and includes widgets for notifications, clipboard, CPU usage, and temperature. You can press Command plus M for detailed system information. The left side launcher lets you access and search applications very easily. The top bar workspace switcher or Command plus a number between 0 to 9 lets you switch between multiple workspaces seamlessly. Overall, Fedora with DMS.files on your Mac takes your UI experience to the next level with its stunning material theme. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Hyperlint on Mac. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.